Madam Deputy Speaker, the stealthy harmonization of social security across Europe has been one of the great unreported stories of recent months. It's happened not as a result of a decision of this House or of any of the national legislatures. It's been driven rather by creative interpretation from the European Commission and judicial activism from the European Court of Justice. The European treaties provide for free movement and settlement where the person moving is able to support himself, either through a pension or through working in the other country. But a series of recent cases have undermined the basis of that agreement. Uh, we've had the case of a Portuguese national who uh, worked in Germany and is claiming German benefits on his return to Portugal. We have Dutch nationals uh, who are denied Dutch benefits when they move abroad, whereas foreign nationals continue to claim them if they've been in Holland. We have a similar case in Britain of a pensioner from the, one of the Baltic states who is claiming supplementary benefits because her Baltic pension isn't enough to support her. Now, the point is not just that this attacks the basis of national statehood, which is discrimination on the basis of nationality. I don't expect to have much sympathy when I say that in this House. But surely those on the left will also understand that it breaks the social compact on which the whole post-war welfare system is based, because you can't ask people to pay into a system if anyone else is then able to arrive and claim it without having paid a penny into it.